Fair use, fair use, fair use. We're going to get right in. We don't waste no time over here. One second. Uh, Cat Williams, he recently pulled a Jaguar right and was just <laughs> doing a lot of truth telling. Want to know what's interesting? Go ahead. It's Cat Williams that taught me how to be Jaguar right. Oh, wow. Okay. What was it about him that you, you kind of say, ooh? 10 10. <laughs> he was my 30th birthday present. <laughs> Almost 17 years ago. I'll never forget when he walked into the club and I was sitting at my table. It's my birthday party. And Special Ed brought him. Shout out Special Ed. And um, me and Ed were celebrating our birthdays that year for the Taurus Affair that we used to do in Miami Beach every year. And Kat was playing the amphitheater and he wanted to meet me. And he came to my party and gave me about 20 grand in cash and said, consider it a down payment on your time. And um, <laughs> Moni Love was there. Cousin Tani was there. Inrel was outside smoking a blunt, so she missed the infamous picture with all of us together with Kat. And me and him sitting next to each other, two heads on, two cats in the head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, he taught me so much. So basically what she was saying, when Kat Williams walked up, gave her that 20, that was a choose me. Let her know, hey, you mind now. That's your nine months. Walking away was hard, but it was when the Illuminati first started coming after him. And I'll never forget the day when they breached the house. And I left. You know, back in that moment, Kat was still wearing Kevlar to bed. To bed. I would get in bed with him at night and he would have Kevlar on. In bed. Can't be safe sleeping like that, man. Mm. Mm. What was it about that and him at the moment where it made you want to speak your truth? He went after Comedy Central. That's what happened. The Flavor Flav roast. Mm. The moment that I knew the Snoop Dogg gets sold out. That was a hurtful moment. I was always grateful to Snoop for taking Corrupt under his wing. Ricky was in a lot of trouble in Philly if he hadn't signed a dog panel. Shouts out to Snoop. I always wonder what's something going on when Snoop's son came out with them pictures there in that lingerie and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He free to do whatever he want to do. But ever since the pictures, I always thought something was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Something went right. I don't even know if he would have been alive. Anyone with $10,000 or more in credit card debt or personal loans may qualify for help from national debt relief. Minimum payments could literally keep you in debt for decades. I've always been grateful to Snoop for that. Ricky, my brother. That's real. That is real. So go, let me ahead. Get, oh, go ahead. They wanted Cat to humiliate Flav. Like humiliate him. Like no holes barred. And they send a bunch of good jokes. And I'll never forget watching Cat in the office downstairs at the house of Marina Del Rey. And he's sitting there looking at the fucking script and just shaking his head. And then the next thing you know, the phone rang and I'm standing there in the office in the doorway and I'm like, are you all right? And he picked up the phone and it was from Comedy Central. And I listened to him threaten to kill him. He said, you, I'm not doing this. You are not going to get a black man a real black man to agree to do this to another black man. Dollars. It was a terrible day. And then that's when all the incidents started happening. Them sending people to the house. Them putting plants backstage at the shows. I mean, I was on tour with him for American Hustle. And I remember that Flavor Flay roast. I think Flavor Flay was the first one to get roasted. Remember the Jeff Fox, uh, I can't think it was Jeff Foxworthy or whatever. I can't think of his name. But uh, I think Flavor Flav was either him or that. 
But yeah, that dinner was cringeworthy, man. That roast and the flavor play, man. So yeah, I can see why Cat didn't want to be part of it, man. Right. I was on set for first Sunday. Right. He said he got arrested over 30 times. Yeah. No no convictions. I'm getting close. <laughs> Go ahead. Yo. But it's been about 30 for him. It's yeah. been eight for me. Yes. He beat felony. I beat felony. You know, it, it was just terrible. And when I would think back to that moment, and then they called him the day of, of the day before filming and asked him, was he going to be there? And he said no. And then the next thing you know, production went on later on that day and Snoop was already ready. And Snoop did everything that Comedy Central asked. That flavor flavor roast was Cat's. That was his moment. The flavor flavor roast and the death of Malik B are the same. Yeah, that's the ignition point. I don't even know if Flav even has ever thanked Cat. Mm. Because he put it all on the line for his respect. That's not just slid right in. And Cat still talked to Snoop. He never treated Snoop different. He just was, I mean, they were still playing basketball, you know, together. Like, I'll never forget when we was all in Atlanta, when we did the show in Atlanta and we had got off the plane because we were, you know, flying on his private plane at the time and, you know, checked into the Ritz Carlton and then we went to the studio with DJ Drama and we were writing. I was ghost writing because um, I was going to sign to Cat's label. I was going to be the first female artist. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was the day the T.I. roughed up Tiny in the studio and everybody tried to pretend like it didn't happen except for me. Allegedly, allegedly. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's an interesting day. And drama. Yeah. It's interesting. But Snoop was there. And... Cat ain't treat him no different. Treat him the same. They play basketball like they always did. He beat Snoop. <laughs> like he always do. <laughs> <laughs> Run the 4-3. Shooting the fuck out of Snoop. Tall for nothing. So let me ask, uh, the moment he went on Club Shay Shay and did what he did, mm -hmm. that's what you, that's the catch you expected. That's the moment I've been waiting for for 10 years. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm so grateful that I was there kicking in that door so he could just blow it down. Oh. That's There's it. an effort. I'm surprised people ain't catching on yet. I thought, uh, I'm never loud when Kanye's loud. Gene Deal's never loud when I'm loud. But if we're running in tandem, somehow, everything that we're saying, even though we don't speak, is always corroborating each other. Mm. No. That's right. I can't wait. I can't wait for everybody to find out what's really been going on in the background. It's just not yet. Are we in the era of truth now? Oh, um, absolutely. You know... Everything that is about to happen this year is intentional, and it has been in the making for over 10 years now. I promise you this. You yet. Oh. And Ye has not had his aha moment yet. You can doubt us all. But the one thing you cannot deny, we are all Hebrew. We are all gifted. And we are all fearless. Shouts out to Streetlight Stars, man. On the content. Y'all go check them out. Uh, yeah, man, no matter what you think about Jaguar right, she always standing on what she saying. She never changed her story. A couple of things she might exaggerate or something like that or might have probably misinformed uh, a few of them things, but for the most part, man, she be accurate, man. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like the word delivery. If you notice, man, every time somebody go to tell the truth, they get like crazy. They start getting arrested, and a whole bunch of just the media just kill them. Jaguar, right? Kanye West. You know what I'm saying? Cat Williams. And just three examples right there. 
And if you look at it, that's what happened. Once they started speaking out, they got a little crazy, and then they started losing everything. We're in the era where you can't tell the truth now. You know what I'm saying? Everything is to be hid and nothing is to be told. Show TV the best TV, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Shout out to Street Life Stars, man. We out of here.